Carrie Vayner, you're a fool. Guys, you're probably gonna kill me for this video, but maybe just stay tuned and hear me out. God bless. What's up guys, I had to interrupt the video and I do apologize. I just wanted to let you guys in on a little secret. The Flash Forward Day Trading course is out now. If you're interested in learning how to trade stocks the correct way, check the link out below guys. God bless. First off guys, I wanna make this video before everybody hates on me, just listen to me. Just listen to me for one second. There's Gary Vayner has a huge fan base out there and I'm actually a fan of Gary Vayner. So I just want a disclaimer. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Okay, so Gary Vayner is one of the biggest people on social media. He does put out, without a doubt, the most content on any platform there is. I fully agree with that. I do follow him on Instagram, but there's some things when I hear him say it, I just be like, that's bold. Now, I'm not trying to say Gary Vayner doesn't know what he's talking about. Of course he does. I'm not trying to say for one second he does not deserve to be where he is. Anybody who works as hard as Gary Vayner deserves to be where they are. But my view is, I just think sometimes he talks a little shit. So like I said, I did, and I don't know how I feel about Gary Vayner now, but I did love him. And then I started hearing these videos and I kind of felt, I think you're lying. And now here we are making this video. Why I'm reacting is, Gary Vayner said in an Instagram video, play the video. You kind of wake up and you've put, you know, a decade of 15 hour days, 360 days a year into something. You've built something and watched it grow from four to 60 million in revenue. And you've never really made more than $150,000 a year. So, okay, pause. You only got paid a hundred. And then some videos he says, 150. So I don't know if he's saying 100 and 150. I don't know where his figures are, but let's just say it's 100. You had no money after working eight, nine, ten years in your parents' business and you only paid yourself $100,000. Is he messing? The average wage here in Ireland for people is 34,000 euros. 34,000 is the average wage in Ireland. And he's saying, I had no money. I was only paying myself 100,000 a year to 150,000 a year. I'm like, that's absolute madness. He's always kind of throwing figures around when he's talking and to me, sometimes if someone's lying, they usually have to have a good memory and usually nail it on the head. But I don't believe that Gary Vaynerchuk had no money when he left his business after paying himself $100,000 a year. What was he doing with the money? Did he not have savings? Did he not build up anything? So he left and his bank account was zero after paying himself 100, 150,000 a year. It doesn't really make sense to me. Another thing that really shocks me about Gary Vayner, when you follow his original content, he's really, really pushing out there that people should, shouldn't work for bosses, they should work for themselves. And I did come across this video on YouTube of... So today is Friday, April 26th, and it's my last day at VaynerMedia. I think it started to backfire on Gary because his staff did start to leave at a lot of rates and I found a lot of videos on YouTube. But then you notice the change in Gary Vayner. You can't have a business with 800 to 1,000 people. It's huge business, by the way. Absolutely massive Vayner Media. And congratulations on building it. Not an easy thing to do. But you can't go around saying you can't have a boss and expect no one to leave. So when that happened, he did it just to, you have to start side hustling. And if you notice now, you'll see what I mean. All his content now is side hustle, side hustle. To be honest, Gary was a really smart man by making this content of the side hustling. But what he also says is, he's always talking about love what you do. And this is, this is a big factor in it. Gary's always talking about love what you do and stop doing shit you hate. Now Gary was really, really clever to come up with this of doing the, the garage sales. Is Gary into garage sales? I have no idea, maybe he does love doing it. But someone's worth that much money going around hustling at a garage sale. I don't know if he does it for the money. I think he does it for the content. And he's just trying to push people like you guys to go and do it. Which, hey, if he makes a lot of money and he's helping you guys make money, he's a good guy and he's doing the right thing. But all this stuff, love what you do. I don't know you Gary is actually loving what he does when he's going around buying stuff from garage sales. I don't know. 
And I'm going to come back to the point. Gary always says, do what you love, stop doing shit you hate. But he really does sometimes say stuff and I think he's just making the whole thing up and he says stuff just to get a reaction and agree with people or disagree with people. This video I'm about to show you here is this girl's talking about dogs and all of a sudden Gary says, out of nowhere, I hate dogs. Check it out. I hate dogs. Super unpopular. People are like freaking out right now. Like seven people are just like, I fucking love this guy until that moment. I want to impact the world, people specifically, massively, and I'm not talking about ripples or waves, like I want it, it's like tsunamis, like I want it to be I'm big. Um, and I have my why, like I know why, that's solid. Um, I'm still figuring out the how, that's something I've been on for a little bit, but I- What's the why? Oh, I love people. Like I, I get it. I love people so much. I get it. I hate dogs, because I love people so much. <laughs> I'm not on your level yet. Dude, me and you, like, I'm so weird. I love people so much. I think the whole, like, animal thing is, like, this weird, like, you're, like, I don't know. I'm weirded out about this whole issue. I hate dogs. Super unpopular. People are, like, freaking out right now. Like, seven people are just like, I fucking love this guy until that moment. Fuck that dude. People love fucking animals. I don't know. I just love people so much that it makes me weird against animals for some weird reason. Not that I want to kick a dog, but, like, fuck. I just wish people would like people a little bit more instead of their fucking fluffy schnauzer. Go ahead. I feel he just threw it in there, I hate dogs, just to stir the thing up. But now Gary, if you're saying love what you do, you actually are an investor in a dog business. It kind of counteracts that you hate dogs, but you're invested into a, a large dog business that actually does really, really well uh, annually. So. Guys, that's just my feedback. Now, I want to just say, I like Gary Vaynerchuk. I respect what he's done. And if anybody can do close to what Gary's done, they're doing really, really well. So I'm not making this video to disrespect him. I just think sometimes he gets a little caught up in the moment and starts rambling on. And I'd say D-Rock's head is pretty, pretty melted at this stage. But that's just my view on it. I think... He kind of contradicts what he says, and I think if you're really going to be standing in front of people like that, just be a bit more honest in your opinion, and I don't know. I think if you're going to do that, just be a little bit more honest in your opinion and stuff, and don't just start rambling stupid shit that doesn't really make sense, and all this kind of backfollows, like, I don't know. Gary, I'm sorry. Uh, I am a fan. Guys, if you are a fan of Gary Vaynerchuk, I am sorry but I didn't do it to get under anyone's skin. I just wanted to make something different for the channel that I think would be quite good and entertaining for you guys. Uh, once again, I want to thank you so much for your support. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like. And if you haven't already, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Guys, I want to thank you so much for your support. Good night and God bless.